wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best USB hubs. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. Designed for versatility, the Amazon Basic 7 port hub gives you the choice of four different data transfer speeds. It also supports auto switching between two separate power modes. Unfortunately, the pins inside each port bend easily. It is decent for traveling and easy to store, and has automatic connection and speed detection. But the power cord is a pain to use. At number 9, the IXCC Portable Data Hub delivers a super compact design and is a good choice for consolidating up to four of your everyday devices into a single location. An 18-month warranty is also included, but the plastic components are cheap. It's good for mice, printers and keyboards and comes with a user manual. However, it's not compatible with iPads. Coming in at number 8 on our list. Perfect for high-throughput devices like USB external hard drives and flash drives, the pluggable Hub 781X supports lightning-fast USB 3.0 data speeds, allowing for quick information transfers between multiple devices at the same time. It's compliant with the BC 1.2 charging standard and has a UV-protected glossy finish, but the LEDs could use a dimming function for nighttime use. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for USB hubs, or click beneath this video. At number 7, designed for both home and professional settings, the Hutu Hub supports most modern operating systems and features two dedicated full-speed smart charging ports for your Apple and Android devices. It is on the expensive side though. It comes with an 18-month warranty and supports hot swapping, but it isn't very durable. Moving up our list to number 6, the Sabrent HP U14P is backwards compatible with both USB 2.0 and 1.1. Its two switches control the operation of all seven USB ports. However, it's not quite powerful enough to charge several devices, for example iPads, simultaneously. It does come with blue LED indicators for each port and offers a plug-and-play operation, but it is kind of bulky. Halfway up our list at number 5, the Anker AH241 provides impressive high-capacity connectivity with 13 USB ports and data transfer speeds of up to 5 gigabytes per second. Its built-in surge protector also prevents damage to your devices, but the power cable is too short. It has a very sturdy aluminum body and is backwards compatible with USB 2.0. However, it tends to get very hot. At number 4, this Juiced Systems charging hub has several USB 3.0 ports that can act as dedicated 2.1 amp charging ports when its data cable is removed. Its built-in gigabit Ethernet port allows you to hardwire your internet LAN connection. It's a sleek and attractive design that includes a 12 volt 5 amp power supply, but it does require constant resets on Mac machines. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the Atrica Rapid Smart Charge Tower offers a sleek, compact and simple design that's sure to complement almost any office decor. It also includes an attachable rubber strip that can be applied to its base for extra stability. It runs on both 110 and 240 volts, is extremely energy efficient, and is made with fireproof composite materials. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for USB hubs, or click beneath this video. At number 2, ideal for industrial and tough working environments, the Coolgear CG1600i RM is housed in a DIN rail mountable metal case with screw holes for lockable USB and power cables. It can also withstand temperatures up to 158 degrees. It features overcurrent detection and protection, Windows, Mac and Linux compatibility, and data transfer speeds of up to 480 megabits per second. And coming in at number 1 on our list, the Triplite U280-016RM can accommodate up to 16 tablets, phones or other mobile devices simultaneously. 12 watts are dedicated to each individual USB port to ensure that all your power-hungry devices are charged quickly. 
It's a heavy duty steel construction that comes with all the mounting hardware and a built in firmware upgrade port. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for USB hubs or click beneath this video.